now with another video. We're going to be talking about market did have a huge pullback today. Like I warned you guys in the video yesterday, CPI data, the stock market will crash tomorrow. And it did, right? We got that big push down and pre-market big gap down. It closed around 356.47 on the SPY, went all the way down to 349. And now we're getting some euphoria that really is fake to me, right? There's no type of euphoria in this market. Everything is just horrible. Now, remember, I was telling you guys on the SPY, scenario here, push down, scenario here, push down. Be mindful of the next scenario in here, okay? I can see the SPY retracing to about 368. So that is a resistance level that you do want to be watching. I sold a lot of stuff today. I'll let you guys know what that is. Now, we also have to remember, we have news coming out tomorrow, core retail sales and retail sales month over month. I did make a play on that considerable the news we've been having with core cpi we've been having fomc ppi everything just been coming out worse than expected so that's what i'm expecting for the retail sales also so i did make a play on that part so we'll kind of see how that goes now when i told you guys we sold a lot of plays we did so 20 percent of iw put options for a 52 percent gain so 25 percent of sq cares sqq shares actually sold all of those for a 30 percent gain i'm actually looking to play this one again so make sure you stay tuned Join the team. First thing in that description, you get all my buys and sells. More importantly, I teach you guys how to trade. So if you really are serious about building yourself in this trading journey, becoming a professional trader, make sure you join. I teach you guys everything that I know. First thing in that description, prices go up November 1st, okay? And then access closes December 31st. So you won't be able to join after December 31st. So make sure you join. First thing in that description. We also sold about 40% Home Depot puts for a 31% gain. Hold, uh, sold 20% of Netflix put options for a 40% gain. So another 20% of um, Home Depot put options for a 50% gain. And then we did some more plays down there. Did some long-term buys that I'll probably put in the next video. But took a lot of profits, right? Just these profits alone are close to over 200% in profits we took today, okay? Now, with that being said, now is not the time to try to go heavy on anything, to try to go crazy. Yes, we are getting some type of euphoria, but you got to know we just crashed a lot. We didn't get any good news. So this right here is just all fake to me. All this is telling me is get more put options. And this is giving me better prices to get those put options. I was going to get scalp calls here, but I just didn't. That would have did good, but I just passed on it. Okay, I'm going to take my profits. I'm going to go to look for new plays. Now, with that being said, IWM and SPY are reaching up. Okay, IWM. You want to be watching resistance at around 171. 171. That is possible the next entry for the put options. So what I'll be looking out for is I'll be looking for price to return up and then going back down. Support actually held at 163 on IWM. You can see there. Okay. See that support? 163. It did hold. So take that 165 level off. Now let's go to the SPY. SPY kind of broke that 353, had a big push up today. I can see SPY returning up to about 368. Kind of like these movement here. Return up, push down, return up, push down. Looking for that return up and that push down. Nothing in the market right now is bullish. You have to look at the data. Nothing is bullish. Pretty much whatever the Fed is doing is not working. It's pretty much what I'm saying. Okay, it's just not working. Look at the CPI data. CPI data month over month came in double than the forecast. CPI year over year, I told you guys yesterday, if it came in at 8.1 or higher, expect a crash. It came in at 8.2. We got the crash. Core CPI month over month, 0 0.6, higher than expected. So retail sales is tomorrow. That's a big mover. Probably going to come in worse than expected. So be prepared for another drop tomorrow if we do get it, okay? But CPI data is just, is just crashing the market right now. Crashing the market. So... What is the next steps? What are the next big plays? What is going on? So now that I told you guys that I sold a lot of stuff, right? If you look at SQQQ, you see this big push down right here? This is what we want for the next play on SQQ shares. So I bought them here at the low, sold them at the high. I'm looking to do that again, okay? Because you got to understand, I'm still bearish on this market. So I would like a little pull down. I'll give you guys a level I'm looking at to buy there. And that's about $58. That's why I'm looking to buy some SQQ shares. So since it's dropping right now, that's beautiful. That's what I want. Okay, that is what I want to buy some more shares with this. The SQQ. But I sold them all at that high for over a 30% gain. Look at Home Depot. You see how it had that big drop down here? Sold them all here, right? So when something is this low, you can't get put options here. 
you have to wait for it to trace back up. So this retracement up is just what? Leading to get us some more put options to make some more profit. So look at this euphoria right here. That's pretty much normal after having a big drop. I think it's moving a little too fast up. So I wouldn't trust any this type of movement up. Probably Home Depot is another high probable put option play that you want to be looking out for. Okay, that's the top play. We'll probably make a big play on Home Depot tomorrow or maybe even later today. Big put option play. What you want to be watching out for is about 280 as a resistance on Home Depot. Watch that. That might be a good uh, thing. I still hold a little bit of the put options that I hold, but I'm looking to actually double down on those Home Depots. Then we had Netflix. Netflix had a drop down here, right? I had two levels. This 230 level was an entry that I was looking to get put options. Hit perfect. Resistance came in perfect. We got our put options. We sold almost all those. I still hold a little bit. I think we're still going to have some more push on Netflix, but I'm actually looking to what? Double down on those. Okay, I'm looking to get more Netflix put options, but I did sell for those profits. Now, some of the other stocks you got to be looking at are your longs. I'll probably do a long video, uh, maybe the next video or sometime today. But mostly right now is not the time to be trying to go heavy on anything. The news is bad. So if the news is bad, right, from the CPI data and the market is going up, what does that tell you? That tells you start looking for put options. Start looking to build that cash position. Start looking to build those longs. Again, our financial advice. And let you guys know what I'm doing. I'm just some guy on YouTube, right? But sold a lot of stuff. Looking to make more profits on the downside. I don't trust any up movement right now in the stock market. I think we still have more downside to go. And just to let you know how much more downside I think we can go, I think I think um, the SPY could go down to 320, okay? So we had a low today of about 340, 350. Right now we're at 360. So the SPY is literally like shooting up. It's literally shooting up, okay? Any news? I'm going to see why, but inflation's worse, Fed's not doing nothing, and the spy wants to shoot up. So be careful. Do not get tricked into anything. Don't go crazy on anything. Keep your money. Keep your profits that you made. And then next video, um, any other stocks you guys want me to go over in the next video, comment them down below. But just be prepared in this market. This is not the market to try to go crazy in, okay? Hold on to those profits. So when the market goes bullish, that's when we go crazy. That is when we go crazy, when this market turns bullish. This market is not bullish by no means. I am 100% bearish. 100%, not 99, not 98, not 97. 100% bearish, okay? Make sure you join the team. First thing in that description, get all my buys and sales, but more importantly, teach you guys how to trade in these markets, how to get entries, exits, build yourself as a trader. All starts with that first link. Prices go up November 1st, so do not miss it. Always remember, not a recommendation to buy or sell anything, just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. I will catch you guys in the next one.